Long lineups have returned at Service Canada. Only this time, it's international students needing a social insurance number ahead of the new school year. This following months of delays for passports. Jason Gaidola has more. <laughs> it still remains difficult to get a passport, but Service Canada is struggling with demand for another government document. I take a queue for taking my SIM number. They told me like that. Murat Guhan arrived in Canada this month after fleeing Ukraine and is one of many at this time looking to secure their social insurance number. Guhan says he's a chemical engineer back home but needs to find work right away. Otherwise, I will work in a simple job like Amazon like that and I will go and work there to cover my expenses in Canada. Aside from Guhan, Canada is also welcoming new and returning international students as well who will need SIM cards for employment and access to government services. While things are quiet at the Upper James location, wait times are much longer around the GTA, like the Service Canada in Brampton. Feelings are exhausted as I was waiting for seven hours long. Nobody liked to wait so long. And uh, we were standing here even when there was raining. But so many people don't have umbrella and they have to stay. I was thinking that it would be very easier. But uh, with some time, I was much in trouble. Everyone lining up right behind me tell me that they arrived here at Service Canada at around 6 o'clock this morning. Those needing sins in Brampton were in a line that wrapped around the back of the building, forcing some to sit on the ground and pass the time. After months of backlogs for passports, this month, Service Canada created additional locations to alleviate travelers' needs. But today, a sign encourages people to apply online for documents. We are here for the study, and the rent and uh, all the utilities are pretty much high. Back in Hamilton, many say there isn't enough employees to speed things up. They have only one person dealing on the SIM card. And uh, so at least they're supposed to have about two or three people to do that. Service Canada tells us its current queue is the usual workload it sees at this time of year when students arrive. Online applicants can expect to wait 15 days for their new SIN numbers and up to 25 days by mail. The government says it, it expects its service backlog to drop significantly by the end of the summer and return to sustainable service by